Hi everybody and welcome to this video. So I've managed to acquire two oscilloscopes. Um, both of them are probably faulty. One of them definitely is. This is the best of the two and this is the newest of the two. And in this video I'm just going to show you the oscilloscope really and identify any problems and hopefully fix any problems. Um, so I've been researching. I was researching before I bought this one actually, and um, it seems that there's a common problem with these um, these potentiometers here. Apparently, they get sticky or corroded, and then they um, they don't work properly. So let's see. They're switched on. So turn the power on, and the power comes on. I might as well turn my uh, power supply on as well, actually. So I'll need to test. So I've got a pack of new um, test leads. Right now, I'll be honest with you, I don't know much about oscilloscopes at all. I've never used one before. And yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. But anyway, let's give it a go. Um, I'll need the leads for the power supply as well. So I'll just put those in. There's minus and plus. They're in. When I wiggle that, it seems to go crazy, so... It seems that the switch probably is a bit faulty, so... I'll try and clean that. Okay, that's good, because I have some of this, um... Contact cleaner here, anyway, so I'll take it apart and... Spray some of this on and see if it fixes it. But there's obviously something wrong here with that switch. So yeah, this, this oscilloscope, there's something wrong with it. I'm not sure what though. Um, I'll try cleaning the contacts and see what happens. So I've decided to try and take it apart and um, just have a look and maybe I can find out what's going on with it. So to start with, I've noticed that there are two little um, nuts, and they're loose. So maybe someone's already been fiddling with this, or or maybe they became loose somehow, I don't know. But anyway, it's loose. <coughs> Put that to one side. Alright, the first thing it says here is, Danger at 2,000 volts. So, wow. I'll, um, I'll watch out for that. And again, it says danger high voltage. And I'll definitely be watching out for that too. In fact, I wonder if this will just slip out. don't appear to be any fixings on the front, so... Ah, those, those are for connecting the back uh, to it, so it's not going to be anything to do with that. Ah, there's a screw at the bottom here. Okay. Now let's see if this will wiggle out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we are. So I'll just move this camera so you can have a better view. Right, so what have we got here? So here's the potentiometer which was causing the problem, or that I thought was causing the problem. And 
It looks as though it's sealed, so... Hmm. Yeah, it looks as though it's sealed. It also looks a bit damp. Hmm. I'll spray some of this stuff on and just see what happens. too mad with this though. I take it we just spray some on. <coughs> Let's see what it says. For maintaining and servicing electric installations in motor vehicles. It's a multi-purpose product. It protects from rust and corrosion. Removes leakage currents and voltage loss. Keeps contacts, fuses and connections free of oxidization and sulfide layers. Cool, that is what I'm trying to do. Produces a frictionless current flow. Dissolves resins. Do not spray onto winding stations. I'm not sure what a winding station is, but okay. Shake can vigorously, spray generously and allow it to take effect. Absorb any surplus, spray with a cloth if necessary. Repeat the treatment on extremely dirty spots. Starting with problems, sorry, with starting problems of motor vehicles, spray the whole, the whole ignition system and the distributed, distributed cap. Hmm, okay. So I sprayed that on there. I don't know if that's actually got into the thing or not. And as for this one, this is this appears to be sealed anyway, but I'll just put some on. Give that a wiggle, see what it does. Okay. Um that's that one done. I suppose if I can get to the other potentiometers, I suppose I might as well do those too. There's the PSU there. There's the CRT. 2,000 volts. That's crazy. Have a quick look at these other ones. I don't think these will be causing a problem because having a look at them, they um they are a lot more plastic than metal, so I don't know. I'll spray some on anyway. Oh they do feel looser actually, straight away, after having sprayed that on. That's interesting. So maybe it is worth doing it. Intensity and focus, they were alright anyway, so I don't need to bother with those. I don't think these push switches have a problem. <coughs> now, as for these other potentiometers, how do I actually get to them? That's the thing. There's one there. I've sprayed some on. I wonder if I could spray 
Dus en dan. Uh, I can't actually get into this here, so... Yeah, I don't know about this. There's one there. I'm also not 100% about spraying liquid onto these electronics. And I don't really understand how they're working. But anyway. I suppose we'll soon find out. I do feel better, so I don't know. Let's try it out. Okay, I'm gonna switch this on remotely because I don't know exactly what's going on here. So switch that off. Switch. Put this in. Okay, I've plugged it in. Um, now I'll switch this on. Okay, it's switched on. Now, if I just um, see, I don't know what I'm doing here exactly with this CRT thing. So. Okay, it doesn't appear to have any problems. Wipe some of the success stuff off. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been about 45 minutes or so, and I've got this working. Well, mostly anyway. Um, I used this contact spray here. Sprayed it on the contacts, let it soak in for a bit. Did a lot of this, um, you know, usage here, and um, it seems to have cleaned it up, and they certainly feel less sticky anyway. I'll connect this to my um, power supply. Okay. Change the sampling down to about a millisecond and change I'll press the DC button here. Then find the trace wherever that is. Where's that gone? Change the voltage to, I don't know, 1 volt I should do. Okay, so the, change, the volt div is 1 volt per, per divider. So vertically, 1 volt should be um, 1 block. Oh, actually, we should be on 5 volts here though at the moment. So, oh, no wonder I couldn't see it. I'll just put this down. Put that down to 0. And Y should be on zero now. That's it. Now we're done. So I'll just demonstrate this now. So if I move this up, put it on, let's say one volt. There's one volt, and you can see that it's it's about right. Maybe a tiny bit out there. So there's one volt. I don't I don't know what that flickering's for. I think it might be this. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. It wasn't doing that just a minute ago though, so I don't know what's happened there. Well anyway, um, so you can see it's 1 volt, and then I'll put it up here. 2 volts. Oh, it's not flickering now. 2 volts. 3 volts. 
and you can see it's working. So I'll go back down to zero and change this to 0 0.5 volts. Put this up 0 0.5 and it should go up one block. Yeah, that's about right. Put it up to one volt. You can see it's gone up to there. Put it up to one and a half. Yeah, that's about right. Put it back down again and we'll try, let's say, five volts. For every five volts it should go up one uh, square. So, five volts, that's about right, and then ten volts, yep, fifteen volts, yep, that's about right. Let's change it to ten volts now. So, one block high is ten volts. And nine Yeah, so it's spot on. So I've got this oscilloscope working, so that's really good. Now, I said it was working. There was one thing that wasn't working, and that's the second channel. Now, I don't know exactly what's going on with it, but I'll show you anyway. Put this in the second channel. Move the first channel out of the way, and press dual to get the second channel back. So the second channel's in focus now. Now, if I try and calibrate this, it does something weird, but I'll, I'll show you anyway. Okay, so that's in. Um, I'll change this down here. And you can see that it only shows you the low and high, I don't know why. But it is actually right, it's just showing you low and high. See, that should be one bar. And it is, look. Um, that should be two bars, and it is. So, for some reason, it only picks up the low and the high. It doesn't show the one line, which I find really weird, but there you go. So, if I... Give this 10 volts, so I'll just change this to 10. Put that down there. I'll have to press this, uh, DC, and then 10 volts. Oh, that's inverted. Hang on. I pause. Okay, so 10 volts. So I'll drop that down now. That shows zero volts. Ten volts. Twenty volts. So you can see that it works. And I can actually use both channels with both probes and it works. But I don't know what's up with the calibration of this, this channel here. For some reason it won't work. It won't actually show the wave. I don't know why, but anyway, I fixed an oscilloscope just by using that and a bit of time. So yeah, I just thought it would be an interesting video to put on YouTube, and um, yeah, so I can just show it as one of my projects. So, there we go. I fixed a, an oscilloscope that I got for very cheap, um, which these things are selling on eBay for about 60 or 70 pounds. I paid 20, um, and used a bit of that and fixed it, so it just shows what you can, what you can do. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Bye.